Okay, guys, so, yes, I don't know if y'all can hear that airplane, but that's what it is. But, uh, yep, my package is here. Uh, I didn't know this was going to be delivered. I thought they won't deliver it till, like, 11 or 12. But, uh, let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with another unboxing video. So, yes, uh, I did make a feel, like, before I went to bed last night. Like, around, like, 12 in the morning after I filmed it. Uh, unboxing video today. Uh, which, yes, I told you guys I was doing an unboxing, which I forgot to mention in my yesterday's video, but, yes, uh, bought it from Amazon, like, I want to say, like, Friday of last week, and, and it got delivered today, early this time, so, I'm not using a knife because I am using a key to hold hold with. And here it is. And uh Yeah, this is a uh, the Top Picks WWE Mattel Top Picks uh Bray Wyatt. Uh this is his Firefly Funhouse version. Uh buy it on Amazon, like I said. Uh I know y'all gonna say in the comments below, uh, is this a re-release of the exact same figure from two years ago? It sort of looks like it, you can tell it's from Basic Series, um, 111. Same thing with the other two, like, Undertaker unboxed him a year ago, he's from Basic Series 115. And Roman Reigns, who is from the SummerSlam Heritage Series, when he returned again, returned Earned that year from 2020 during the debut of the Thunderdome. And also, like I, I forgot to mention in the video that I uploaded this, told you guys that I was doing the unboxing this morning. This is actually the very first November er, unboxing. Uh, but yes, I am doing like four clips for my November. Um, a boxing compilation, or how many clips I will do, because I will try to get a new one out there pretty soon, if I can. Okay, guys, so, gotta fix his hands. And his arms. And like so. Yeah, here he is out of the package. Um Okay. So yeah, uh like I said, this is actually the re-release of the basic series a hundred um eleven, but th what's really weird about this version, it doesn't say what year it is from. Uh, I think this was was released last year also, before he was released from Dota E. But, uh, hold on, let me put the plastic, uh, shield back in his case, and voila. So here he is, uh, this is the Firefly Funhouse Bray Riot, not the new Bray Riot that we know now when he returned to Extreme Rules. But, uh, you can tell he has, like, the little... Man bun, like the cinnamon bun, ponytail look, the tattoos, uh, kind of a bit difficult him rotating his head all the way around, uh, rotating the hands, and by the way guys, this is actually my second Bray Riot Asher figure, uh, I already showed you guys what my first one looked like like a week or two ago. But, uh, yeah, guys, so, um, if you guys like this unboxing, let me know down, down below, or comments down below. But, um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Really glad you are our friends.
Okay, guys, so, um... <clears throat> so, yes, uh... Sadly, y'all cannot see me in the light, but, uh... How's it going, guys? I am back with another video, and happy Thursday, because, uh... Um, I know y'all are gonna ask, why am I doing up, why am I doing up so early? I woke up, like, seven minutes ago at one in the morning, so, um, yes, if y'all didn't see that clip that I showed you guys last night, um, hold on, let me fix my hoodie, so, uh, check this out, well, you probably see this on my Instagram, so, Boom. Uh, it is the Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, Happy Meal box. I got two of these. I got one for myself, one for a friend who lives behind me. Uh, but, uh, yes, these just got in about at McDonald's about, like, two days ago. On Which, I thought they wouldn't even get them in until, like, next week, but they got them in early, because the movie's coming out in the theaters next week, so yeah, uh, about these toys, you guys, uh, they do have a gimmick, but what's really cool, if you put them on the water, they actually changed the design of it purple, I think that's very, very cool in my opinion, like I said, happy Thursday, uh, yeah, they gave it to me like that, like, if y'all can see the little scratch right there, it's not torn up or nothing, it's just, like, a little scuffed, just a bit, but, um, yeah, guys, so, uh, anyway, uh, I think these include 10 toys, it's just, like, the Thor, or Love and Thunder ones I did unwrapped slash review on here earlier, or, like, a few months ago, but, yeah, guys, I will unbox a few of these, but I'm not going to probably get the whole set, because I don't have time to, but, uh, anyway, guys, uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'm sorry y'all can see it under the car light, because, uh, one, one, it's too, like, because I can't show you guys, like, right here, because it's too dark, but, uh, like I said, happy Thursday, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, Brett Mess here. I am back with another video. So, yes, check this out. So, I kind of went to Hardee's a few minutes ago, and guess what they got? Yep, that's right. It's the One Piece film Red. Um, this actually came out just last night in theaters for opening night. Because I don't know if this movie's made by Sony or not, because Sony does own some anime stuff, like My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball, but, but still, I didn't even know this was actually a thing. This actually came out, oh, just today? Or I don't know when it came out, but if y'all can tell, it's actually from Hardee's. Because uh, Hardee's is actually promoting it for the movie, which the movie just is... Actually not playing right now in theaters. But uh but I can't wait till the movie gets comes out on DVD and Blu-ray to watch it. And yes, I know my hair is a mess and all of that. But um Also this too, I kinda like clean it because I was drinking water. Too, but still, I didn't know uh, Hardys could do anime stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> okay, guys, so you ain't gonna believe the craziest thing that just happened to me. So, okay, this is like a week ago. I ordered something from Bleach Creatures, and three days later. Well, actually, no, wait, almost a week later, which was, like, which, to me, I feel like it was just, like, three days ago since they shipped it, and, yes, it actually just got delivered today. Um, so, yes, um, 
I will do a part two ooh, November compilation, like the best of November's compilation video that uh, you already uh, probably knew about. But uh, I want to include this unboxing also, including the One Piece film Red Cup from Hardy's I did a review on just yesterday because, uh, because kind of like you want to add a little bonus. Uh, things on there, like some reviews and the unboxings that I've been doing for months, years, you know. But yeah. Also, I'm going to use this knife. I want to see if this works or not. So. Okay, it kind of works. Yes, here it is. It's the hitman himself, Bret Hart. Check it out. Got his famous pink, black, and white attire on. Been looking forward to this since, uh, since it just got delivered at 10 o'clock this morning, which I didn't know about. Okay, wow. Okay, cool. So, here he is out of the bag. Uh, let me take the tags off for a minute. Okay, guys, so here's the tag. Brett the Hitman Heart. And here's a little plush figure itself, so... What's really weird... Okay, this is just like the Matt Riddle one. I reviewed months ago. Add a little piece... That they didn't need to add on there. Cause you gotta be careful with this because you don't want to rip it. See? So check this out, guys. So very well made. Here, you can see it. He's kinda has a ball spout. And yes, it is windy out here. Like cause uh you can't take the hair off because uh it's sewed on there pretty good. What's really cool is you can lift up his glasses too to see his eyes. Which I find that really interesting. But um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Whew. Okay, guys, I'm back with another unboxing. Ow, my hand. This hand hurts. Like this part. Yes, yeah, so just got back from Walmart. I've been there since this morning. They didn't even have what I was looking for until now. Yes, I know I'm wearing my same jacket that you already seen from my Bray Riot unboxing last week. And yes, I know my hair is a complete mess. And I've been up since 1 o'clock this morning. I, I mean, it's not just that. It's that I literally went to bed too early last night. Shouldn't, like... Done it because I was texting a friend. Watching stuff. And all that. But yes, can't wait to show you guys what it is. And, um... I actually heard this movie was getting a sequel that was not released in theaters. And here it is. If I can get it out. It is, um... Awkward Teen Forever Platasm. It's basically like, uh, the, the, um, it's actually a sequel to the first one from 15 years ago, but this one just got released today. Picked it up from Walmart, and it comes with a free an exclusive poster, so, um, there's a <coughs> front, back, side, so, um, yeah, I'm using my keys to get this out with. Poser is just gonna be like the, the cut of her art, so. Okay, here it is. And, uh. There's the disc. So, yeah, if y'all wanna know why it says on the.
picture. It says three months, because yes, it's been literally three months since I did a unboxing on a movie. I think it was on My Hero's one, I mean, My Hero Academia, uh, World Mission, World Fishing, Mission, I don't remember. I saw the movie after I unboxed it. Yeah, but, um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for my final November unboxing at the end of the month, or just probably, because, like I said, I pre-ordered it online, uh, so, you'll probably see it. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, Brett Mess here. I am back with another unboxing video. So yes, um, I am going to do one Friday. And it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch, like I said. I told you guys that it came out like three weeks ago this morning. So yeah, I got this from eBay. And I am really am happy to unbox this. I just bought this like three days ago. And here it is. And I have not seen this one yet. And it's from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So yes, there's actually two gimmicks. One on the back and one on the face. So let me take a thumbnail picture real quick. So hold on. Well, just a picture for the video. So okay, guys. So I'm back. So you want to know what the second gimmick is? Dip in five. Dip in water to change vibrating in color, so. Because this is what's really interesting about these toys. Y'all remember from the Burger King toys from 2006 that was promoting Spider-Man 3, which came out in 2007? They actually did the same thing with Spider-Man when you changed it to, like, his red and blue colors to the symbiote colors. So, yeah, um. And yes, it's just like the Thor Ragnarok one. So yeah, uh, this is actually the gimmick, and I think it's really cool. And there's one point of articulation. Man, it's been like, what, two, three months since I did a boxing on a Happy Meal toy? But yes, besides that point, ain't, this is what the moment I've been waiting for. So, you can see it changed to white, purple. Oh, which one's the... Hold on, wait a minute. I just filled these up yesterday. Yeah, it's a little bit dripping, so. Yeah, I'll be right back and refill them up. Hold on. Okay, guys, so I had to fill up the warm water, so I'm gonna do the warm water first. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. That's really cool. And let's dip it in the cold water. Let's see, it will turn back to purple. Oh, let me just put it all the way in there. And actually, this is actually the new Black Panther. Because, uh, again, I have not seen the movie, so please do not spoil it for me, guys. And it's sort of like pink. But I'll let you guys decide. But let me dry this up and, like, end the video right here. Okay, guys, so... Um, that's it for this unboxing. I know it's kind of a bit, little bit white right now, but probably if I change it back to purple, that would be kind of a bit better, you know? But uh, yes, this is actually toy number seven. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. But, uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so I just got back from unboxing the Black Panther Happy Meal toy, toy seven. I am going to think about trying to get toy nine. I if they are not sold out on eBay because that's how I bought uh, Toy 7. So yes, we got something from Amazon. And, it's, and I hope they don't get this this wrong. Because if they do, I'm going to be very disappointed. Actually, they didn't. Because here she is. It's actually Rivet or Revit. I, I don't know, guys. I have... Like, again, I haven't played the new Ratchet Clank game yet, but yes, this is actually the new character from uh, Ripped Apart, and it's Rivet. You only get three in the set, you get her, Ratchet, and Clank, which, Clank is still $19. I only got this one cheap because she was like, um, 
like uh, about eight dollars and forty nine cents. But let me take a thumb. Let me take a picture for it. So here we go. Well, let me get her out of the bag first. So don't oh, know. I am. Um, um, taking it out of the bag. So yeah, um, it's from Jinx Toys, the one that did the Ratchet Plush, and this one that y'all are seeing me unboxing right now. So yeah, um, let me see. Hold on, on. I'll be right back. Okay, I am not going to be a complete idiot with scissors because I'm cutting the tag off. See? I cut the little part off. So, here she is. Um, pretty de decent as a plus. She just looks exactly like Ratchet. She got her little robot arm. That actually kind of reminds me of, um... Of her having, like, a uh, cyborg's arm. You know, cyborg from Teen Titans. You got the hair. Oh, cool! You can actually lift the hair up. You didn't want to put it down, so just leave it up. So yeah, I am making my I am making a Ratchet and Clank plushy compilation some point by whenever I get around when I feel like I'm, uh Clank. But yes, uh like I said, this is Rivet. Uh she just looks like Ratchet, but uh she's a girl. Ratchet's a dude. But yeah, um uh, anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Come on, camera or phone. So, yes, been a, waiting a long time for this. I don't know about y'all, but, uh, yes, so for the past, uh, if y'all remember from my yesterday's, uh, vlog or just like a little thing I was telling you guys about, like, I guess, story. So, yes, if y'all remember, I told you guys I did a Nintendo unboxing like three weeks ago, but, uh, that was on the HK Battleground, so. This is what I actually got, and I just picked this up from Walmart, because uh, they only had two in stock, and that was Bayonetta 3. So, I get, I don't know why, but uh, this is actually the first time I bought a Bayonetta copy. Uh, I didn't buy the other two, because, well, the first one I was originally supposed to get on PS3. Because, yes, the first one is actually on PS3 and Xbox 360. Uh, Bayonetta 2 came out on the Nintendo Wii U, and four years later, it came out on the Switch. And here we are, uh, eight years later, Bayonetta 3. She is back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I want to say this came out, like, Friday of three weeks ago. So, yeah, um, Booty Becomes the Beast. Which is actually a reference to Booty and the Beast from Disney or, uh, or another generic... Rip off to Beauty and the Beast. And we got a new character. She looks like, uh, that... What's her name? Uh, she's from Life of Chainsaw. Not, um, Juliet. Like, one of her sisters. That That's what she actually reminds me of. So, front, side, back. And when I got this from Walmart, the woman was so freaking rude, bro. Like, so rude, you don't even want to know. Oh, how rude she was. I mean, she wasn't really, really rude. Okay, she just probably had, like, a bad day or something. So, yeah, just took the plastic wrap off. What's really weird, these feel so different than, like, the Xbox Ones and PS4 and PS5s. So, yeah, and here we go. There's the little cartridge and, uh... Well, that side kind of looks like the classic, as you know, we the one that you see in the cover right here. I thought that was classic for a second, but I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> ah, crap. Ah, dang. Hey, guys, uh, I am back with another video, so... And yes, happy Tuesday. So, yes, if y'all want to know why I got the flashlight on, uh, I don't know why my appointment says 
as 6.30. You know, I'm supposed to be, I'm going to be there at 8. So, check this out, guys. So, yes, I finally looked up the character's name. Her name is Thena, not Athena. And, yes, the reason why I have, wait, did I say Happy Tuesday already? Well, I'm going to say it again. Happy Tuesday, y'all. So, yes, welcome back to another video. And this is actually a review on this. So, I actually got this yesterday. I paid, like, 50 cents for it. Not a, big, not a biggie. So, yes, uh, this is actually her gimmick. And I think, if I remember correctly, I think she's toy 9 or 10. And this is her gimmick. She's kind of like swinging the katana blades around and around. Those actually reminds me of the katana blade swords from Deadpool and Leonardo from Ninja Turtles. Now, the reason why I had the flashlight on for a reason is because of this. It's really, really cool. Tell me is that's not awesome. But anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so, back with another unboxing, so, yes, I got, like, two more unboxings to do, gonna try to do one on the 25th, which, for some weird reason, it tells me it's gonna be here by the 24th, cause it can't be here by the 24th, cause the 24th is on, on Thanksgiving Day, so, yeah, check this out, it's a little, there we go, a little my little is a little cool uh necklace has rainbow dash on it i like rainbow dash uh some of y'all may know about a year ago i am a my little pony fan did a few my little pony unboxes on, on here so yeah uh what really creeps me out is her is twilight's eyes they messed up on that but that is okay and and if you can tell, if you see the little yellow sticker on it, I think it's from Dollar, Dollar General. I think, I don't, I'm pretty sure it is, because I thought it was from Dollar Tree, but no. Can I get it on loose or something like that? I can try to do that. Okay, I can see why it's the rubber part is stuck on here. There we go. There we go, right there. And there it is. Ah. And here's the key, the chain, and the rubber part. And yeah, it's not that uh, a big deal. Just got it cheap. Uh, but anyway, guys, so you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so back with another unboxing. So yes, I got like two more unboxings to do. Going to try to do one on the twenty fifth, which for some weird reason it tells me it's going to be here by the twenty fourth. Because it can't be here by the twenty fourth. Because the twenty fourth is on. On Thanksgiving Day. So yeah, check this out. It's a little... There we go. It's a little, my little... It's a little cool uh, necklace. Has Rainbow Dash on it. I like Rainbow Dash. Uh, some of y'all may know, about a year ago, I am a My Little Pony fan. Did a few My Little Pony unboxes on, on here. So... Yeah, uh, what really creeps me out is her, is Twilight's eyes. They messed up on that, but that is okay. And, and if you can tell, if you see the little yellow sticker on it, I think it's from Dollar, Dollar General. I think, I don't, 
I'm pretty sure it is, because I thought it was from Dollar Tree, but no. Can I get it loose or something like that? I can try to do that. Okay, I can see why it's the rubber part is stuck on here. There we go. There we go, right there. And there it is. Ah. And here's the key, the chain, and the rubber part. And yeah, it's not that a uh, big deal. It just got cheap. Uh, but anyway, guys, so you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, Brad Mess here. I am back with another video, and um, <clears throat> another unboxing video, which I will do by Wednesday of next week. So I bought this from eBay. It was on discount. To me, it looks pretty new. Can't. I think it's the Aquaman plush I bought, which, yes, I have, uh, I had, <clears throat> I'm sorry for not speaking clearly, scratchy voice a little bit. So, welcome back to our unboxing video. Uh, yes, I'm still in pain from the surgery yesterday. I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot speak that well because of my voice. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and open this, shall we? As I expected. Right here, the little Aquaman plush. And it's from Toy Factory. There's the plushie itself. And the eyes are green and is looking up at the sky for no reason. But um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so before I do this unboxing, yes, I got the Basic Series 129 Roman Reigns Chase variant. Um, So I know y'all are going to say, hey, uh, they already got in a 100 Basic, ser basic Series 129. They actually got them in, like, Sunday of last week, which I didn't know they were going to do that. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, in the series, you can get Dominic Mysterio. Saw him there last week. Sold out. The Miz wasn't there. Carmella, they had her. Noam Dar, uh, really do need to get Noam Dar, because I don't know if he's still with WWE or not. And, yes, this is actually the Chase variant. Pick this up from Walmart. And yes, another thing too, right before we uh get to this unboxing. Uh yes, I called GameStop like two nights ago. Uh they told me I should get it by tomorrow or whenever. Or because they didn't send me a message on my message on my phone. Not like texting, like through business stuff. Well, not like store business, you know, like that. Our stuff. Uh, but you'll see tomorrow. It's like one of those fucko stuff. That looks like in a soda can. But you'll probably see tomorrow or the next day. But yes, we got Roman Reigns in his uh, white shirt. 
It looks like the head of the table shirt, but it's only like reverse, like white, black. The black shirt is with the white like, um, logo on it. And this one's just a chase fairing with a white shirt, black logo. So let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? Now, yes, I did do a basic unboxing. I think it was on the um the top picks figurine of Bray Wyatt. Back on the beginning of November, like the second day of November. And by the way, guys, this is actually my third Roman Reigns Asher figure. Oh, wow. I like the sneakers. Got a little bit. Bit. Okay. I saw this funny video about Roman Reigns. Some people thought he looked exactly like Jason Amoa. Uh, but I don't know why, because Jason Amoa is, like, taller than Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is, like... What, six foot three, something like that? But yes, um, here he is. Look at that. He got the drip. Hey, head of the table. Uh, yeah, to me, look at that. It looks like one of those old tennis shoes you get from like those older basics with the peg and the elbows, the hands, the legs. Uh, reminds me of that. Well, the shoes reminds me of one of those John Cena figures, you know. Uh, got the ponytail on, got the beard, uh, so yes, I did unbox the basic series 121 Roman Reigns a year ago, I mean, I wanted to do my Roman Reigns collection video when I get around to it, uh, I'll show you guys proof of it, but, uh, yeah, guys, I'm sorry this unboxing was like three minutes long, uh, but anyway, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And, and acknowledge him. Hey guys, I am back with another video. And yes, I know, um, sadly, I called, I, uh, uh <clears throat> had a busy day. Called a little bit of GameStop. They said they don't have an answer about why my package is not coming from GameStop. It's like one of those, okay. Hold on, I didn't mean to show you guys what this toy is. Uh, it's just a little Hulkbuster Happy Meal toy I just bought from uh, make, bought from the same place. I got that Athena one last week. So I called them. They haven't even delivered it yet, which I pre-ordered like a month ago on the twenty eighth of last month, and here we are now, a month later. It's like the 30th of November. Like the end of November. And. And I will have to send. Like. Like. Try to handle it. Whenever I get around to it. But yes. uh, Check it out guys. So. Yes. This is the Marvel Studios. Happy Meal toy. Toy 8. Hulkbuster. Um, so. You probably may recognize it from. Uh. The Incredible Hulk video game, you get to unlock him as a costume. If you guys have, like, the Iron Man video game saved up on your PS3, Xbox One. Actually, no, wait. Xbox One came out in 2013. But, yes. This is Hulkbuster. Like, look at this. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit dirty, but I'll clean it after I get done, like, filming this, like, uh, review. Uh, like... Look at this. He's like freaking huge. Like so bulking huge, man. Like I have never seen a Happy Meal toy this big. Uh, well, except for like one of those little cheapier uh, Bumblebee movie Happy Meal toys when they were promoting the Bumblebee movie back in, in 2018. But yes, this came out like this is like two years old. This is from 2020, and this is the gimmick. 
And it's basically like the gimmick from the Avengers Happy Meal toy set. That's like the Iron Man toy. The Iron Man is number two, and he has the exact same gimmick like this one. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.